हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन टाइप नंबर टू फंक्शन ऑफ हायर ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द गिवन प्रॉब्लम हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड इट आउट द एक्सट्रीमल ऑफ दिस इज द फंक्शनल एफ इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वेर माइनस वाई डबल डैश स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस फंक्शनल वी डू हैव एक्स वाई एंड वाई डबल डैश बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वाई डबल डैश इट इज टाइप टू इफ इट वुड बी वाई डैश इट वुड बी टाइप वन बाय यूलर्स इक्वेशन डो एफ अपॉन डो वाई माइनस डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ डो एफ अपॉन डो वाई डैश प्लस इट इज ऑल्टरनेट प्लस माइनस डो एफ अपॉन डो वाई डबल डैश इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस इन द गिवन फंक्शनल वाई डबल डैश इज द मैक्सिमम डेरीवेटिव देर फोर विल गो अप टू वाई डबल डैश लेट्स पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ देर फोर डो बाय डो वाई ऑफ एफ एफ इज दिस That is sixteen y square minus y double dash square plus x square minus d by d x of do upon do y dash of f plus d square upon d x square do by do y dash of f that is sixteen y square minus y double dash plus x square. Equal to zero. Let's differentiate with respect to y. This is thirty-two y. This is zero, and this is also zero because with respect to y, y double dash and x are constant. Minus d by d x of with respect to y dash, this derivative sixteen y square is zero. Minus y double dash is also zero. N x square. In short, the entire term derivative is zero because with respect to y dash. x y double dash and y are constant d square upon dx square with respect to y double dash this is zero this is actually y double dash this is zero minus y double dash is minus 1 this is zero equal to zero therefore this is 32 y this is zero minus let's put the values do upon do y f f is provided in the problem 16 y square minus y double dash square plus x square minus d by d x of do upon do y dash of f 16 y square minus y double dash square plus x square plus d square upon d x square do upon do y double dash of f that is sixteen y square minus y double dash square plus x square equal to zero. Let's simplify it with respect to y sixteen y square derivative is thirty two y. With respect to y this is constant its derivative is zero. If you observe this term with respect to y dash, this entire derivative is zero. There is no y dash term, so this is zero. Plus d square upon d x square inside with respect to y double dash, this is zero. Minus y double dash the whole square is minus two y double dash. This derivative is zero. You can take minus two outside. d square upon dx square this is y double dash means d square y upon dx square equal to 0 this is actually d raised to 4y upon dx raised to 4 equal to 0 let's take minus 2 d raised to 4y Upon dx raised to four, that side that will become plus two d raised to four y upon dx raised to four is equal to 
this term that is 32y this will be cancelled you will get 16 d raised to 4y upon dx raised to 4 is equal to 16y friends we want y what the next step 4 integration is it so no if it would be x let's say 16 x any function of x then we're going to integrate but here it is y therefore the solution is cf plus pi let's take 16 y this side d raised to 4 y upon dx raised to 4 minus 16 y equal to 0 let replace this with a capital d if you take y common let's consider the auxiliary equation without this and rhs is any of 0 d raised to 4 minus 16 equal to 0 let us simplify this equation d raised to 4 minus 16 can be written as d square square minus 4 square is this clear d raised to 4 can be written as d square square and 16 can be written as 4 square now this will be a square this will be b square that means you will get a square minus b square what's the formula a plus b a minus b a is d square and b is 4 d square a plus b a minus b what does this mean either the first term is equal to 0 either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 this is d square is equal to minus 4 this is d square is equal to 4 this is d is equal to plus minus root of minus 4 this is d is equal to plus minus 2 plus minus root of minus 4 what is root of minus 4 2i because root of minus 4 can be written as root of minus 1 into root of 4 root of minus 1 is i and root of 4 is 2 therefore let us write it down the cf friends the roots are actually 2 minus 2 plus minus 2i these are the roots let me write it down the cf for first it is c1 e raised to 2x it's a plain simple real root second is minus 2 minus 2x for third and the fourth root this is your complex root this will be treated as 0 plus minus 2i that means e raised to real part it is 0 c1 c2 already used c3 cos of imaginary part here friends imaginary part is 2 plus c4 sin 2x in short your cf is e raised to 0 x any of is 1 this is your required cf let's find it out pi pi formula is 1 upon fd into rhs let's check what is rhs in this problem this is your rhs friends what is rhs 0 rhs is 0 that means this is 0 what is the pi 0 this is the first type when rhs is 0 pi is 0 this is the simplest of pi what is the solution cf plus pi here pi is 0 so what's the solution only cf that means this is the solution we got the solution this is y is equal to in terms of f of x we're done with the problem hope you understood thank you